Our guest in this segment, Charlotte Sherman and Dina Morgan with the uh, Apollo. Good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for coming in. Good to see you here. Come on closer to your microphones. If you, if you talk four feet away from me, I won't be able to be. All right, I can hear you, but our audience won't be able to hear you. Charlotte, hello. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm good. All right, any other questions for me? <laughs> any other questions? No. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Hey, uh, uh, tell me what you do, Charlotte. Um, I am with the Professional Business Women's Association, and mm -hmm. we are promoting our Variety Talent Showcase that's going to be held on November the 9th at 7.30 p.m. at the Apollo Theater. It is a fundraiser, and we are raising funds um, to donate to the Senior Citizens in the Senior Citizen Center in Martinsburg Valley College, the Women's Empowerment Center, Horses with Hearts, and the Backpack Program. Oh, there's a lot of good programs there. Yeah, we, we've supported those. I think this is the second year that we've supported those organizations. How big is your organization? Uh, we have about 33 members mm -hmm. right now, and it's a whole variety of people. It's, it's a networking group. Uh, we meet once a month at the Purple Iris for lunch, um, and um, it's, it's mostly women um, that... Um, you know, have businesses or, mm -hmm. or entrepreneurs in the area that uh, just want to get together and network. It is a professional business women's association, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Matt and I would not be welcome at most of your meetings. Oh, men can come. We have men come as speakers. Um, we just had the um, uh, administrator, the pastor at the rescue mission. Oh, he came last Tim time. Brewer. He was in at 8 o'clock right here this morning. Oh, he was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Tim came. Every month we do a... Um, 50-50 raffle, and that money goes to a different um, nonprofit organizations than the ones that we mm -hmm. support um, uh, at our fundraiser, and so we donate that money. So Rescue Mission was one of the, the benefactors of our 50-50 raffle. Very worthy of place. Yes, it is. Yeah, and it's great. The, the family shelter that they're creating, that they're about to open up, is a wonderful benefit to our community. Oh, yeah, the 604 yeah. fund is amazing yeah. stuff. Uh, Dina Morgan. And tell us your story <laughs> besides the hand lotion <laughs> <laughs> dina walked in and she shook her head she said i just put hand lotion on so yeah. it might, you, you might, might smell, smell a little like flower. flowers yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 my hands smell great right now i gotta tell you well that's fantastic like that's a spring fantastic. day yeah <laughs> Well, I'm also part of the board for the Professional Business Women's Association. I've uh, been there for about four years, mm -hmm. and um, it, this is the first time that we've ever tried to do a talent show like this. So it was, you know, a big learning experience mm -hmm. for us. But we had um, an outpouring of really great performances and uh, got to meet a lot of really nice people. Did, and did you audition them? Yeah, yeah. So we had a great audition. Um, we have several different acts that are going to be in the, the program. We have magicians, um, puppeteers, uh, a clown, um, several dancers. Mm -hmm. We've got some uh, vocalists, a keyboard player, and we actually have a band that's going to be playing. It's an all-girl band and um, martial artists. So uh, the, the Apollo used to put on an annual talent show every year. Is this separate from that? This is separate from that. So this is going to be a showcase. So in that talent show, and I've actually been to that before, um, that talent show, they, um, they had different... Um, different areas like they had you know the bands or the the mm -hmm. musicians and um you could win in those categories and this one is just a showcase and if anybody is you know from a certain say school of dance or from a certain organization that we want to promote that as well during the show mr so, yeah. mr miller how old is the professional business women's association how long has this association been gathering uh, I think it's been around for about 35 years. Mm -hmm. I belonged a lo long time ago before I was in real estate, and I've been in real estate for 25 years. So I think that the organization has been around somewhere around 35 years. And how long have you been doing the fundraising, and, and where did the idea come from that a, a talent show would be a neat way to do this? Um, I think the organization has always done some sort of fundraising mm -hmm. at in all the years that it's been uh -huh. around that's always been one aspect of it which maybe sets it apart from other networking groups is that we do do some kind of fundraising mm -hmm. um you know during the year um as far as the talent show actually um i believe marianello that is with uh the uh, valley college 
it brought forth the idea of mm-hmm. having a, 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 a talent show for a fundraiser. We were discussing what our options might be for this year. Of course, COVID, you know, things that we did prior to COVID, some of those things had just fallen by the wayside, didn't have as much momentum. Um, and Mary and Ella brought the idea that maybe a talent show would be good. So, you know, our president, Catherine Silver Rydell, kind of went with that and has you know pursued that and put a lot of energy into getting it started and you know bringing us this far (laughs) all right so in the audition process i hate to ask but but were there any that you went don't call us we'll call you did you it was actually tough to decide okay we had a lot of really good talent come out so there there was none of that okay all right <laughs> i don't know if you're disappointed to hear that but, no no uh, i just i just wonder i didn't show up for that very reason um but yeah i have no talent but anyway uh, no it was actually a, a pretty strict process and okay. um we had a, a of several members that were there and you know we had a grading system and uh we could let 16 acts into the show because we didn't want it to run too terribly long um, and then just give each performer enough time to perform during the showcase and so we actually had to be pretty selective wow. <laughs> and how many did you say auditioned uh we had it was over 20 mm-hmm. yeah so, so some did not make the cut. some did not make the cut unfortunately mm-hmm. but we we hope that they'll come back next year and that we'll be able to do this again do you remember the hardest cut the best of the rest um, You'd have to say a name, but maybe what what did, were they a singer or comedian performer of some sort? Yeah, we did have um, a singer that it, it was it was very 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 difficult because mm-hmm. we you know we're, we're right there at the cusp, and if we had you know more spots, probably yeah they would have been in. I, I blame it on your impatient audience. If they could just sat still for five more minutes, exactly. that person could have been in. So really, yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah, we we need people who are more patient, Mr. Gilstrap. I see on the flyer, I'm cheating, that, that you've got over there that the show starts at 7.30, and you say there are 16 acts. Mm-hmm. So that's not much of a set for anybody to do, right? It's like five, ten minutes each to get... Yeah, I think they. I think that's about what time they've allowed for each one. It's a total of five minutes, so that includes setting up, doing your performance, and then exiting and taking any of your equipment away we so get two wow. hours to do ours pretty quick. <laughs> we, we get two full hours here yeah we, we are going to have a stage manager that is going to keep that moving um jamie lopez is also going to be the mc for the evening nice. i know a lot of people in the community know jamie we know jamie um that might be a little bit of a draw if anybody you know has has uh, attended anything that that he is mc he's very good he's well known in the community um, I think his son Christian won the talent show uh, before here in Martinsburg. Probably That's so. Yeah. 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 Is it? Can you list so that people can know if they who they want to come and listen to? Can you give us who's performing, and and what they do, like whether they're singer, a dancer, or a magician, sure. or. I think Dina would be best at that because she's the one who was over the talent committee. So, um. yeah, I can go down the list of, of several of them. So we've got uh, Danny Baker. So he's a keyboard player, excellent keyboard player. We've got Allison, and I always pronounce her name incorrectly, Borowicz, and she is uh, she's a singer, very 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 good singer, and she she's going to sing at last. And so if you know that song mm-hmm. uh, by Etta James, oh, it's marvelous. Oh, she does a wonderful rendition of that we have joe santoro so he's a household name here and he's and italian so- too more italians <laughs> in the show let's go you, you know that that was that was one of the criteria no, <laughs> just kidding. Dina, it should have been if it wasn't it's got to be going forward yeah. the borowitz that's from a different part of italy <laughs> <laughs> and of course he's a puppeteer and uh, i tell you it's it's going to be a nice surprise for anybody that that comes to see what he's going to have in store for us uh, we have kyle bass and so he is a magician we have donnie hawkins who was also a part of the apollo talent competition and had won that before too mm-hmm. so he's going to be singing for us we have got a couple of duos for dance that are from inspiration dance studio so we've got a a couple of girls there that are going to come out and and join us for that Um, we have miss michelle witt who is is a a singer she is also um, a part of pbwa so she's a member of that we have Susie the clown so we do have a clown Ah. coming out there (laughs) now for anybody who's afraid she's actually she's i'm afraid of clowns too and she's very good she's very well known very well known um not scary at all so don't worry about that child friendly (laughs) yep 
And we have actually a group from um, from one of the School of Rock here in Martinsburg. And uh, it's a group called Writing Your Name in Red. And we have Chuck Thomas, who is a magician, okay. um, very well known. We have a barbershop quartet, um, Hearts with Harmony, and they are fantastic. It, you'll, you're really going to love that. We have a couple of actual teachers of dance. So we have Kara Rakes and we have Lexi Parker. And we have uh, Candace Patterson, who's going to be singing. And we also have a big surprise, Nathan Pitzer, who is going to do a martial arts performance. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be something to see. Mm -hmm. Will that, that include well, breaking that. boards and things like that, or, or just your demonstrating the moves? Yeah, <laughs> right. our, our Brandon. son Brandon, yeah. One of his most impressive was to hold a board in front of him, and as he dropped it, would come through with the fist and the first boards they were using I think were like a quarter inch thick and they weren't they, they weren't dense enough so he would hit it and the board would fly and so eventually they went with a thicker board that you know gave him a little more surface I mahogany guess. it was like <laughs> I was impressed I'm, man I won't mess with him so <laughs> did you have any really unique talents kind of you know I, I think of of this and I think of like America's Got Talent you know and we we watch people get up in that opportunity did you have sword swallowers or fire swallowers yeah what, plate fire, spinners yeah, <laughs> things like that that would have been out of the ordinary we didn't have any of those no. come in but we do invite them for next time there you that go. would be great yeah. <laughs> I guess the liability on having that as an op you know sword right. swallower <laughs> You got to cut in my mouth. Here. Hard to get insurance. What, yeah. what happened? I was swallowing a Imagine sword. Imagine the day you tell your mom, I want to become a sword swallower. <laughs> We're all so proud of you. <laughs> right. we, we are in studio with Charlotte Sherman and Dina Morgan. And at the Apollo, they're putting on a talent show. It's going to raise some money. They're going to distribute it to a, a lot of wonderful places around the area, too. Uh, give us the dates and particulars once again for the show at the Apollo, Charlotte. Uh, it, the uh, event is going to be on uh, Thursday evening, November the 9th. It mm -hmm. starts at 7.30 um, at the Apollo Theater in downtown Martinsburg. What's and it cost to get in? $15. Tickets are $15. Um, they can be purchased from our website, mm -hmm. um, pbwaovwv.org. Um, right, do that again. It's pbwa. Of West Virginia, OVWV dot org. OVWV dot org. Of West Virginia. O F or O V? O F. O F. I'm sorry. It's hard. That that website's hard to say. <laughs> I wasn't um, going to correct it, just so you know. I <laughs> <laughs> we also have a Facebook site that um, we're on Facebook as well, mm -hmm. so they can. There is a link from the Facebook page to um, the website that where you can order tickets. Or you can call 304-596-2402 um, to place an order for tickets, and mm -hmm. we'll be selling them at the door as well. How long do you think the show will last? About two hours. About two hours, yeah. About two hours, okay. There's going to be a short intermission, so we can set up for the, the next set. And, um, and we've got our stage manager that's kind of putting together the order to make sure that we kind of do this seamlessly so that if we have something with a, you know, a big setup, mm -hmm. that they go first, you know, after the intermission or the very first ones um, so that, that we were able to just keep it moving the whole time. Now, is it general admission or assigned seating? It's general admission. Okay. And, and, and well, you know, I don't, you, you, you get, you, you row, you know, is Mr. Gilstrap here yet? Yeah. Row four, four <laughs> seat eight. Do not let him move from that seat. No. I, I would do assigned seating with him because he's a troublemaker. The rest of everybody else can sit where they want. Well, I can understand why you would, you would ask that question because the Apollo Theater does have season um, ticket holders sure. that do have reserved Don't seating. Don't try to make him and feel so. better, Charlotte, about his questions. <laughs> you're, you're, you're being nice. Right. So, Charlotte, you were in real estate. I am. Still? Yes. Okay. What, what is your real estate uh, place called? Um, it, I'm the Charlotte Sherman team at Modern Realty Results. Oh, Larry DeMarco. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah. Yes, they're mm -hmm. fine sponsors of this program, too. Yeah. And, and Dina, how about yourself? I'm actually a financial advisor with Edward Jones here in Martinsburg. Mm -hmm. Financial advisor. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, wait, let me give you the market report right now, Dina, before you go away. <laughs> you can tell us what uh, what do you think about this situation here. Hold on. I'm going to get into the car. Current situation is the Dow is up over half percent. Same with the S&P and the NASDAQ. They're all up just over one half of one percent today. Well, you know what that means then. 
you have to go out and buy tickets to our show. That's when well, you got money now. <laughs> yeah, you're you got money. You're, you're wealthier have. than you were yesterday. <laughs> Percent more money than you had yesterday. <laughs> Close out your 401k, take that cash, <laughs> take and that buy tickets. And sell. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And uh, in regards to the housing market, Charlotte, what do you think right now? Interest well, rates interest seem to come down. Interest rates are up a little bit, but um, it's never a bad time to buy real estate because if interest rates rise more, you've gotten in before it gets to the pinnacle. Mm -hmm. And if interest rates go down, you can always refinance. And remember, in this area with the demand that we have, if interest rates go down, prices are going to go up. So, you're, you're, you know, it's mm -hmm. going to be one way or the other. You're going to pay interest rate or you're going to pay price uh, because our housing market is, is in such demand in this area. So we always talk about the 30-year fi uh, fixed rate at 7 and change, whatever it is. What are the arms going for now? Um, I would say they're probably in the sixes. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. West Virginia housing is still in, in the fives, 5%. 5 it's the lowest mm -hmm. interest rate, you know, that we're, that we're hearing about right now is West Virginia housing. Um, everybody else is up over six, at least over six. Is West Virginia housing specifically first time home buyers or do they do a second home or a third it, home? No, it is designed for first time first home time. buyers. Okay. Now, if you've not owned a home, I think the limit is three years. If mm -hmm. you have not owned a home for three years, then you can get in under that first time home buyer program, okay. but it is just for first time home buyers. Hmm. But we have a lot of programs in this area for for, for first-time home buyers or low-income buyers um, that you, don't, you know programs you don't hear a lot about mm -hmm. but um, you know there's still some assistance for people to get into housing very good so uh, the talent show uh, you'll be distributing money how much money are you hoping to raise here we're hoping to raise at least five thousand mm -hmm. um, dollars one of the things that we haven't covered is we do have sponsors for this event so we do have business people in the community that do support us mm -hmm. in our endeavors for our fundraising. Um, so we do have some some um, some large sponsors in the community, other businesses. Would you like to mention them? Sure. Um, Catherine Silver Rydell with um, um, her uh, chiropractic business in Inwood. Uh, her son's Rydell Law Group is a, a large sponsor. Uh, Winchester Family Chiropractic. Uh, Friends Weight Loss and Health Food uh, Store is another large um, um, uh, sponsor. And Dina Morgan with Edward Jones we know her. Is, a, is a large sponsor. <laughs> uh, we also have Cody's Auto Body well, they um, advertise here on, too. On, on Wilson Street here in Martinsburg. Yeah. Let There Be Rock is also a sponsor. They have some of their students that are in the show and uh, Cristala Blue Salon and Spa on Old Mill Road. They're also a sponsor. And then we have some smaller sponsors as well, some individuals that mm -hmm. have donated some money. Well, very good. Well, I wish you a huge audience, a wonderful rockin' time. And uh, do you think you'll do this something you want to do every year? It, it's been a lot of work, but I tell you what, we learned a lot of things, and we met so many good people. At first, you would think this is a little bit daunting, but mm -hmm. I think it would be something that we would do again. Well, you yeah. know, there's enough golf tournaments out there already. Mm -hmm. We need more talent shows. Yes. We expect yeah. to see you guys out there. Right. Oh, and I'll then, be there. I, yeah. I love this kind of thing. Well, I, we want we, you to audition. We went to... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> he, no, he sang on the Perry Como Christmas That's right. I did. I did, but no. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Nevertheless. We can, we can play that tape if you'd like. still on but your resume. Was, yeah. it's, um, no, the, I, I think these area talent shows are great, especially for new talent, people trying to, to find... Because anything in the entertainment business is so hard to get any kind of momentum. And now this is not a competition, but still, it's it's a way for people to, to get out there. It's also a way to showcase the Apollo and to bring some revenue to the local restaurants and stuff. I, I think these things are great. Yeah, and we have tried to promote the show at the downtown businesses and restaurants. Um, we've asked them to put flyers in so that maybe people before the show will go downtown to eat. Um, the other thing is that there is no school in Berkeley County on Friday. So for any of the parents that were concerned that their children would be out like 9 o'clock or later after bedtime, they don't have to worry about that because we don't have to get up and go to school the next day. Awesome. Um, so that's uh, hopefully we'll bring out some families. Good to see you both. Thanks so much for coming in. I'm, I'm going to edit James you into the commercial break, okay? Fantastic. <laughs> One of your talents will be doing this at the talent show there on November the 9th.